Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm back again with Lucifer episode 9 of season 1, and I'm really, really excited for this. And last episode, we find out that the dirty cop was Chloe's ex husband. Which I'm so shocked, <laughs> still shocked yet, because holy damn. And she was starting, you know, to forgive him for everything. And now we don't know how is the like what is about to happen in this episode. So let's just get into the video. Mm. Pizza guy. seen it though. At least not here. Padre, how did you, of all people, find me? Don't let the collar fool you. I have friends from all walks of life. People who tell me you're the man to see and you run out of options. Oh, what kind of nasty trouble have you got yourself into then pinch too much from the collection basket? I'm here about a neighborhood youth center. Sounds dreadful. It is. We realize it's being used as a front for an illegal drug operation. The center's director, Lenny Arrieta, is bringing a knock. My answer to you, father, is a big fat no. Handle it yourself. What? That is actually surprising. We cannot have any action. It was the time of Arrieta's death between 11.30 and 12 this morning. Cause was multiple hits with a baseball bat. There's some abrasions on his face, so it looks like he struggled before he died. And I found this. Mm, what's that? It's a voice from Jim. Hey, can you not do that? Don't give my own father. It's not a clue, Lucifer. evidence. I'm impressed. Why looks like the there? priest handled it himself after all. You don't know the priest of this. Well, maybe you don't. Huh? Oh, okay. Thank you. Just a little annoying. So yeah. annoying. <laughs> you tried to. Guilty so much, that guy. Yeah. Did you seem pretty best? Oh, well, wait, you really think I like Father Frank to this, right? One hundred percent. Thank you. You've been very helpful. <laughs> right. So, told you. No, I hate to admit it, but you might be onto something. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> you might be onto something. <laughs> She's like, I'm not gonna agree with you. That's him. Frank Lawrence, the most evil of people, have the most normal names I've experienced. The way anyone named Keith. <laughs> well, his criminal record's pretty extensive. Assault and battery, disorderly conduct, drug charges. Well, we should talk. No, he's not fine. No, he's just not here. Oh, hey, do you want to do dinner at my place, get taken? Yeah. Is that Charles? <laughs> Same Charles, I was just going to say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Sounds good. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> she seems so hopeful. <laughs> I feel like Hodge is going to be broken. Well, how's it going, buddy? Oh. His face is so annoying. Hey, any other good news? Back on duty. You didn't have a choice. No, I, I understand. No, I get it. I get it. No, we are just protecting my wife for years. If you saw me, I'm with my gun. Boom. No, you took me out before I could take her out. No, no hard feelings. I understand. Oh. But the minute you want to come clean, you and I, we both go to jail. Mm hmm? And 
You really want to throw away your marriage? Watch little tricks you go up from behind bars? Get this through, man. With you gone, I'm... who's going to protect Chloe? What do you have for me now? Nothing much. We're going to go ahead. Ooh, the intro. Knock, knock. <laughs> Stay here while I look for Father Frank. Oh my god, he tried so hard to arrest him. And, uh, what? When you put it that way, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> For your penance, ten Bloody Marys and a good shag. That was I know you're there. Are you watching over me? Honestly, it's pretty great. Do, do you know anything that doesn't make me want to, you know, impale myself? Like, uh, something more upbeat, something a bit, um, maybe like, uh, <laughs> oh, I think I know what you mean. Something like that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Father has got a soul. Will you stay here and make the practice? <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Honestly, I talked in our I love that scene. Please, the devil friends with a priest is absurd. It's absurdly adorable. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's okay to admit that you like the guy. He's everything that I stand against, detective. Yeah, well, sometimes you get a little fussed with the people we're most different from. What? He's killed a man. I don't believe that. Look, what if it's true? Then he needs me even more. I believe he's still have faith in this boy. God has faith in him. In all of us. Even in my darkest moments. Oh, you really believe that? I do. What on you? Uh oh. Because he didn't have faith in me. <laughs> I thought that we wanted to. Why oh, I feel like this is a mirror of Lucifer's stories. <laughs> like I'm realizing now that. Holy damn. <laughs> but now I know deep in my heart. God has a plan for me. Oh, his plan for me was quite clear. I didn't know it's finished. Oh. Oh. Hey, you Sorry. I'm sorry too, kid. I can't allow weakness. Not when I'm just taking control. No! <gasps> oh! Hands up! Get down on the ground! No, 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 you idiot! We're gonna stretch. We need two ambos. Code for it. Go anywhere, you moron! It's okay. I'm not afraid to die. Well, you should be. It's really boring where your head is. Uh, hold so. I've had enough excitement for one life. Stop talking like that. We've got more to do here. You've got more people to annoy. Oh, oh. Pressure on the wound. I am. Come on, Frank. Stay with me. Stay with me. Oh. At first, I didn't understand why God put you in my path. You're going to hit me. of lessons mm. and this is all I remember. <laughs> Surely you must be joking.
tracing will be done, you'll come back to me. I'm ready now. So, tell me, who do you want me to kill? His name is Lucifer Morningstar. Oh, no. He really flamed dirty. Holy shit. Like, for someone who despises, like, the devil so much, Ernadelle is, like, doing so many shady stuff to get to the point where he doesn't have to, like, keep the gate of hell anymore. And, wow. He's really gonna kill his own brother. Oh, let's talk about this episode. I love it. Taking the points where this end where like they're trying to kill those three. I really love it. I think like I love the piano scene so much. The one with Chloe and those fur was very sweet and very cute. And the one between Lucifer and the it was just so amazing honestly one of the best things i feel like this thing is gonna mark me so much it's just because it's such a you know it seems like he and his father you know like playing piano and they're like together and i feel like most of the problems of lucifer is just believes that his father doesn't care for him and he keep him on hell like because he wanted to punish him and yeah like I might think like this is not it you know this is not the whole story I feel like the father like with the priest I was so true like how do you know it's the end of the story you know like you and how and the end no it's not it it was so many steps and he was still like been through so many stuff and Lucifer is learning new things, new feelings, new emotions. He can like, you know, navigate you to that and you know, it, everything feels like God's plan <laughs> to be honest. It's just so amazing. I love this scene. It's like questioning everything because like the priest is dead and it was just a very scene but like, dad is also like a part of life. You need to learn to deal with that too. And I feel like one of the lessons he learned as well, like to deal with, you know, grief and all of that. And, oh my God, it was just such an amazing episode. To be honest, I just felt really, I don't know, blessed by watching. <laughs> I know it seems crazy, but that's what I felt and I really enjoyed this episode and you know made you like question everything and it was just such an amazing like writing for this episode I'm really worried about Dan to be honest because he's also in his imminent owl plan so like I feel like he's not like He's not 100% good, but he's still a good guy and it'd be very unfortunate for Chloe and Trixie if he got arrested or maybe worse. So I'm really waiting for him like, to find a solution very fast. And yeah, like I feel like next episode is about to get down for what happened. Like, they're gonna try to kill Lucifer, like literally kill him. Oh. I love it, to be honest. I love this episode. I feel like everything seems like, you know, some sort of like, you know, the, the priest with Connor and like Lucifer with God. It just felt very similar stories in some ways. And it's like sort of like God want him to know like, I'm still trying for you, you know, I'm still there for you, even though like everything that happened, I'm still trying to find a solution for you. 
And yeah, I'm really excited for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching with me. See you guys in the next one. Bye! -bye.